Hello everybody and welcome to this video. You want to communicate with a game that here is for me WoW and you want to read the memory but you want also to write. You don't want to write over the game, you don't want to uh, cheat by modifying DLL, uh, doing some bad code and stuff like that. You just want to communicate some information. It could be the number of people following the live, it could be some information about the website, it could be information that you want to do, or it could be some real you want to execute to, build, to open the bag and stuff like that. So basically you want to communicate with the game, not just read it. So I don't want it to do it, but I was so much curious about is it doable that I did it. And so here is how I did it. I just say I want to communicate with the computer. Uh, here is a bit of time I need, the randomness, the struct. Here is a series of address that I want to modify. I have all the access on the process. Then uh, the process is this number. Open the process. Yay, you succeed to open it. We will loop and wait for one second. And we, if there is an error, you just close the process and we are good. So now you take all the address I give you and the address that I have here. You need to convert it because it's a string and so I want to have a memory address that is a number in hexadecimal that I will be able to target. So to be able to test we will generate a random number between 50 and this number because it's a, a char and the char is going until 200 and something. Okay but the problem is the memory is a double so convert the random number in the double. The problem is that it's not a double that we are storing, it's a byte. So can you convert the double into bytes? But the problem is that when you want to write a byte, you need to have a special structure to be in the memory. So convert it to the special structure, and now you can write it in the memory. So here is the address, here is the ulong memory address. It's something that every time I do a wrong, but it's because the address is too long. <laughs> Here is the buffer, here is the value that you need to be able to inject that in the memory and ta-da! If it succeeds, you see successful, if it fails, it fails and that's all. That's as simple as that. So here is how you write in memory and how you fetch those data, I will show you. So what you do is you create here doo -doo -doo -doo, an array that we call, for example, gate in memory. This array, you need a size for it. So as soon as you arrive here, you say, could you set the gate to zero? And by doing to zero here, you will say, could you go to the max value I want in the array and you create a value. And in Lua, when you do that, it's not creating an error, it's just creating the, 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 the zone you want. And then if it's a string, it's really hard to read, but if it's a double, then it will stay the same all the time. So we have some method here to be able to set, and we have a method here that's able to write. So this one allows to read the number you will put in the memory between uh, 0 and 255, and it will convert it on that if it's not in the range we want, and that if it's a character. Nice. So now that we have that, we need to be able to tag the memory because the problem is that you have a memory that can change all the time and it's really hard to find a memory in thousand and thousand and million and billion of others. So what you do is you have a system with a tag, an index, a type, okay? Here at the index, we don't use it in this example, but type and tag. So tag, we put a number that here is this number and index, we put a number that is this number, okay? And then, when we are not in those type, we will try to read it. And the rest of the code is complex, so I won't show you. Um, but you can access to the Git. Huh? You go in Cheat Engine. Here, you say that you want a new scan, that you want to scan the WoW here. New scan, this one. You go in WoW, and you say, I want to be tagging the address. So, fine. Do, 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 do. Like this. Once again, Cheat Engine is against the OS. If you try to cheat, you will be banned. If you try to uh, do bad stuff in WoW and with the player, you will be banned and maybe sue. So don't do it. I do it for educational purpose. I want to learn how to inject memory in Lua application and WoW is a perfect example. That's what I'm doing here. And I have plenty of cool stuff that I will do with all, 
I ban bot, but I do stuff. Yeah, you understand. Don't do it, except if you know that you take the risk. Don't do it. So cheat engine here. I take the one two three four one two three four. We have all the address. We have five thousand because there is not only the read but uh, the write but the read. So what we want us is the one that is tag. So type mode as the read. So here is and key. You can see that there is some number and we it's the twenty one that we want. So we say, can you filter twenty one that is in the group we have here? And we have the 21. So now all those are the address we want to modify. So if I type slash Eloy index, this, ta -da, we have the value that is the um, index of the array in the address, because maybe it will change for any reason. And if it change, you want to be able to say, hey, hey, hey. no, it was over there. And memory is unstable. So you have also to try to not trust them. But yeah, here is the index. Now that we have the index, uh, we want the value. So we click here, and we have now the value over there of uh, the stuff. Uh, uh. So we have now the value of the stuff here. And as you can see, yay, we are modified this stuff. Why? Because we took all those stuff, we did copy past here, and we went here. And we put that over there, and we take this over there, and we put it over there. So this is the process we are targeting, so whoa, and this is the address I want to modify. So for example here, if I go in Visual Studio, then I copy that here, like this. Uh, maybe I will take them all just for the fun, like that, uh, if it bug, it bug. So if it crash, it crash, but it will be the end of the video. We finish in a beautiful working stuff or something that will crash. So I suppose it will crash. <laughs> so here is all the address we want to target. So I have, uh, in C Sharp, I have a solution where I'm just uh, loading a file, but here I did not have the time. So here is some stuff. Yeah. Here is some stuff. Here is some stuff yeah i think that in python i'm not sure i can let the, let the last one copy that this we go in python and we try to not screw up but we want stuff here we save we run this and now if we go in whoa oh yeah Why is it so slow? Hmm. Uh, Cheat Engine, where are you? Because I want to close you. Yeah, I did close you. I did close you. So. I don't know why. And that's the point uh, when you do computer stuff, every time you think something will be easy and just you do that, it's never the case. And that's why uh, developers are so expensive because we spend so many time trying to do stuff that don't want to work. Here, the text is disappearing. First, before the text was just not displaying, and now we have a text that is going too slow. Probably because Python is too slow. Oh, my reading in WoW is too slow. I don't know which one. I will check the Python if I we don't know that uh, I put the, the number at the wrong place here. That's here. I, it's probably just because this takes a bit of time. Huh? Or is it because the frame rate? Is it possible that it, it's possible that it's frame rate because I I put the game at really low, low, low speed? Uh, frame rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So it's going a bit faster. <laughs> we can read. We can see it. Read the memory. Uh, write the memory. <laughs> so I don't know if it's Python that is too slow. Uh, probably. Uh, or is it the writing that is too slow? It sh should not be. So I will, I will take the tip. I, I will, I will bet on on Python too slow. Um. So I will wait. Uh, I will just let that like this. So the code will be in the Git. Uh, tomorrow when I wake up, I will put it in the git. So if you look, it should be in the description of the video in some year, day or years. I don't know. If you ask, I will push. But no, it should be push. But uh, uh, the Python is just an example because here I will, I will move directly to C sharp tomorrow. But nice, huh? So uh, what you have to understand is that now that I can read the memory over there, I can just put some Lua code and execute it. So I can just send the Lua say hey the memory is filled with the Lua can you execute it and then he say yes and he take it and run it and it open your bag or it trigger a pour or it open the menu or it click on the map everything that will allow us to do with Lua is doable so everything you put in the macro here or everything that you can uh, type here is something that I will be able to um, trigger here from outside of world Meaning that when I will be in my VR headset, I can send some small UI code like, uh, can you give me back the, um, can you uh, display this value? And he will do that. Or can you uh, uh, trigger this power that uh, I did not have in the configuration of the start? Or can you delete uh, an object over there in the, the menu? Uh, so every UI code that you can send, that is not too big because uh, it's, size memory as you can see it's it's increased the time you need to read to write all that to say many code be with you i hope that you liked it uh feel free to ask question if you want feel free to support the, sh the, the the channel and have fun bye